Hey guys, welcome back to another Swift Programming Logic tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get a random, um, random element from a list. So, I'm going to show you guys two ways of doing it: the inbuilt function and also um, a manual, or I don't know what to call it, um, just a function which we're going to create ourselves. So if we just create an array here. And I'll just call it, um, we'll just do it with numbers, but in string form. Uh, so, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. This can be our array. And then, if you want to do it simply, all you got to do is do array dot random element, uh, element, and that'll give you a random element. So if we just run this right now, we should see that it will print a random uh, array, I mean random item, so let's just see what it prints. It prints one, obviously, and uh, let's just see what the other option was. So if we do um, using random number generator, so I guess you could just use your own one. But that's, I guess, if you want to only do it from a selection of maybe one, two, or three, or two, three, and four, or something like that. So that is the inbuilt way of doing it. But if you want to create your own, so let me show you. Now, what you could do here is if we just create a um, extension, so extension um, array, and then we'll do a function. Um, I don't know. We need to do extension array where element is equal to element, like so. And now what we can do is oh or is it just element equals to element? Oh wait, I'm so confused. Just at the same time. Uh, well okay, okay, maybe we should just ignore that. But now if we just create a function and we call it um give random element and this will just return an element. Now what we need to do is first we need to create a um, random number which is in between the arrays count. So we'll do random random index is equal to uh, int dot random in range and then the range will just be zero dot 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 and then uh, self dot count so actually the count of this would be five however um, if we go one two three four five you see the last one is actually only four so it would have to be self dot count minus one so we don't get an out of range error but once we've done that all we have to do is we can just return self and then return self random Oh, random index and what that should return is a random uh, element so if we do array dot give random element and this is our function um, let's just see what it returns and it gives us one and if we try it again just to prove that it's random it'll give us one again um, Okay, let's try again. Hopefully it doesn't give us one. Okay, yeah, there we go. So it's just a coincidence. But it gives us five, and that also proves that it doesn't go out of bounds since we did self.count minus one, which should mean the highest possible index it could give is four. Now, just to prove this will work with any type of array, if we do an int array, here, if we just do zero, one, two, three, four, five, then this is going to give the same amount since we didn't actually specify what type to give we just specified it will give an array I mean element and oh let me also do int array they'll give random element and you'll see what it prints out now so yeah thanks for watching and this is how you create a give a random element um, function or you can just use the random element uh, function inbuilt this was just to show you guys the inner workings of it and how I think it's made. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in a future tutorial. Bye!